Hello, this is World of Sports. Uh, how you doing? Today we're gonna be talking about Zach Collins. He was drafted. He was drafted tenth overall about the uh, Sacramento Kings, and he was traded to the Portland Trail. But it made me sad because I kind of like the Kings. So they were just gonna talk about him. Okay. Uh, well, Zach Collins is a power forward. Uh, he is seven foot tall, and he weighs 230 pounds. Uh, he's from Las Vegas, Nevada. He, is, he went to high school at Bishop Gorman High School, and his college stats at Gonzaga was really decent. It was decent, and he played 39 games in college, uh, averaged 10 points a game, 5.9 rebounds a game. He went 65.2% at field goal, and free throw percentage was 74.3, and that was his best stats. And now, uh, and now we're going to be talking about what his similarity to an NBA player is, too. Uh, my guess is it is Cody Zeller. Cody Zeller had was really, had a really good mid-range shot, and um, he protected the rim pretty well. He protected the rim pretty decent. And so what I'm talking about is he was inside player. He is not an outside shooter, but he can be, but he is not, and he doesn't like to go out there. His summer league stats were he played three games. He had 70 minutes. Total. If he had made six shots, uh, 20, he took 23 shots, but he only made six. He made one three-pointer, and he had six three-point attempts and 16.7 percent from three-pointer. Free throws made. He made six. Uh, free throws attempts made. He had 10 free throws attempts. Free throw percentage was 60 percent. Uh, offensive rebounds. He had three. Defensive rebounds. He had 14, which is really impressive. Uh, he had 17 rebounds overall, and now we're going to be talking about his strengths and his weaknesses. Now, his, like I said before, he has really good posts, and he's really good in the mid-range. His pick and pop is just incredible. It impressed me a lot, and, um, you know, he, he'll give you a challenge. He's a competitor. This man is a good rim protector. Like I said, he is a very good rim protector because he can block he can play that defense he'll keep you from scoring and he's just um, he's very good at the power forward position and and now his weaknesses his weaknesses he needs to definitely become a better passer if he doesn't he'll like just he'll never get assist if he doesn't he needs to upgrade his passing he needs to get better court vision he'd be like Lonzo Ball he's that fist pass I mean that dude if you can do a fist pass you can do any kind of pass all right now he has he, I mean he has to learn how to stay out of foul trouble. His playing time prediction, uh I I would probably say maybe about seven through fifteen. Seven through fifteen. Uh his projected stats I would probably say for points a game, maybe about six, maybe six or maybe somewhere around there. Maybe, just maybe. And his assist, I if he doesn't upgrade his passing, maybe two or one, maybe one or two. And his rebounds, uh four or five maybe because he's he's doing really good on that and uh it just depends how much playing time he gets if he doesn't get much playing time he's not going to get all those stats but if he gets a good bit of playing time then yeah he yeah he'll he'll probably average those points he'll average those points and assists and rebounds and can he get rookie of the year it only matters if he puts in the work in the gym and into bat he just has to put in the work i'm not sure about his passing but his passing really needs to get upgraded and he needs to work on those passing his shooting and his defense are you know they're definitely working out like they're definitely working out so if he just upgrade his passing he'll never you know be the rookie of the year i mean rookie of the year is a big thing you have to average good stats on everything you have to have good free throw percentage good three point percentage and like average points like launch the ball, you know, get triple doubles and stuff like that. And well, that's it for today for World of Sports. And next episode, we will be talking about Dennis Smith Jr., the ninth pick of the draft. He was went to the Dallas Mavericks. By the way, we're just doing 10, 9, 8, 7. You know what I'm talking about. And this is World of Sports. This is Grant signing off. <laughs>